Sarah, what did we learn this morning from Target, Lowe's and Tiffany? I think generally that we learned the consumer is in pretty good shape. And when we did see that the stock was going down, as in the case of Target, it wasn't because uh, top line sales were bad, right? They actually had a 3.7% increase in traffic, its best growth on that measure in 10 years. And as you pointed out rightly, uh, their e-commerce growth was strong. Uh, what investors were reacting to there was that uh, uh, gross margin and EPS were not quite what they'd like to see, but that reflects their investments in e-commerce for the future. So when you take a look at, say, all the department stores and their same store sales as well, like a Macy's and a JCPenney and then Kohl's, we have a bar chart that shows how uneven that is. Can you help us draw a through line in that what worked in the first quarter and what didn't? Yeah, so some of what you're seeing with Macy's and Kohl's is more a timing shift than anything else. So both of those retailers had a major friends and family sale move from the second quarter to the first quarter. And so that really uh, shaped their comparable sales growth. Macy's comparable sales growth only would have been, I think, about 1.7% without that lift. And Kohl's comparable sales growth was basically entirely comprised, or not entirely, but almost entirely comprised by that timing shift. And so I think what you're seeing is that departments stores are kind of learning how to survive the retail apocalypse, but they haven't yet figured out how to thrive in the retail apocalypse. Mm -hmm. They're hanging on, uh, but they still haven't figured out how to move forward and start regaining some of the market share that they've lost in recent years.